Hello everybody and welcome back. This is episode 4 of Deconstructing Kelly Brogan. If you haven't seen the first three episodes, I'd highly suggest you go back and you watch them. Kelly Brogan did a podcast on the Joe Rogan podcast, and in it she said some really crazy, crazy things. And this video series is basically going through and uh, debunking some of the weirdest, wackiest things she said in those three hours. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Down. Astroturfing is like what, so the word, right? It's cons it's like a fake grassroots movement. Oh, here comes conspiracy talk. Interesting. Okay. Um, on social media, right? So th it's paid, industry paid bots, basically. Oh, paid bots on social media. Go on. Who generate the impression that there is an opinion anti anyone who threatens the establishment. Right. And then they there are people who like organically glom onto that. The fuck did you just say? Organically glom onto that. So they create oh. this this. OK, so they'll come on my site by the thousands. Right. And, and, and immediately after a comment is written like you quack, like where did you get that fake medical degree? Like you're killing people. You should be ashamed of yourself. There's you're reckless. Your and, yeah, exactly. So these are all bots. You don't think these are real people? These are these are bots somehow, huh? Well, I'm not a bot. I'm a carefully constructed AI from the future. Neil Breen's my dad. And they almost always call me a twat or a cunt. That's like almost always part of it. I'm not gonna call you that. That's how you know. And there will be like 500 likes within 10 minutes. That's like one of the indications that it's a troll. Or maybe somebody made a rebuttal to something that you said and they went and sought out for themselves to see what you had to say and they find your abhorrent and terrible, terrible pseudoscientific fucking claims and they voice their displeasure, whether through a comment or just simply liking the comment that they find the most witty. I mean, that could be it. Nah, nah, it's, it's, it's bots. It's a conspiracy, of course. You know what I mean? So like there'd be a Facebook comment. How do you comment. know that that's a troll and not just people resonating with this idea that they hate quacks? Thank you. Because I don't have that many people on my Facebook page that that would uh, ever be a metric. You oh, know, I see. <laughs> like, I see. It's it's not even. Let's check something out. Facebook. Kelly. Brogan. Let's see. Kelly Brogan, MD, holistic psychiatrist. 92,258 people like this. Well, that's kind of interesting. There's not that many people on your Facebook. I think you're wrong. I mean, shit, she's got more likes than I have subs. Like, probably algorithmically possible that it would be an organic phenomenon. Right. It's, it's not possible that over 92,000 people like your Facebook page. You have a reach that's huge because you've been in documentaries, the Joe Rogan podcast, that there wouldn't be a bunch of people that would show up and they'd hear we have to say and be like, actually, no, fuck you. Yeah, that's impossible. So what blowback have you experienced other than this influx of trolls and people Oh, so that that's are... what I was saying, right? Is that for a whole year, none. Like, I took out a large life insurance policy. Did you? When I published my book expecting, like, pretty serious. Um, you worried you were going to die? It's happened. You've died before? What? I have colleagues, you know. What, do you, what, what colleagues do you have that have died? <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. The conspiracy of murdering, murdering scientists that, that go against the system. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that mystery hanger. Yeah, I bet you are. It, it sure would be a shame if you had to name something and then somebody had to point out how you were wrong. But it's- Do you think people have been killed because they've criticized pharmaceutical companies? You just have to know that it's um, the most powerful industry in the public eye anyway. Now in my bought the movie review, which Kelly Brogan was in and well, all of the usual cast of wingnuts were, there was a couple of points where they were talking about whistleblowers when it comes to the pharmaceutical industry. And strangely enough, even though these whistleblowers were, were shown to be having compelling evidence and that sort of thing, and they did in fact win, they were never murdered. And these are, these are people who came forward and they testified against Merck. And I'm no fan of Merck, don't get me wrong. 
They testified against Merck, causing them millions, millions, maybe even way more than that in damages, yet somehow the strange mafia of the, the pharmaceutical industry uh, didn't, didn't murder them. Maybe, maybe, maybe you have to cost them trillions. Is that what it is, Kelly? Is that what it is? What's the number that actually means they're gonna like just straight off you, you know, which... That's intense though, what you just said. Like you, you have colleagues that you believe may have been killed. I mean, you don't want to talk about it, obviously. Yeah. He clammed right up. <laughs> it's hard to shut me up. It is hard to shut but me up. But you really no, I believe just don't think that... it serves like to, 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 you know what I mean? It's like focus on this layer. Demon but I do, I do think it's a power. possible narrative. How about that? So it's a, so, so you're, you're lying out your fucking ass. Is that it? I, any claims asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. Why would you even fucking bring it up? Why would you even use that as a, as a method of communication? Well, I actually do know why. I understand why. Because if you can infer something, very gullible people will simply buy it as fact, especially really scared people. You know, the types of gullible, scared people who will, I don't know, go to the website of a uh, clinical psychiatrist and believe that the best way to cure their fucking cancer is by squirting coffee up their assholes. Maybe that kind? Like, could this, could this get any more pandering to terrified people? This is so fucking bullshit. It's a, it's possible, a possible narrative. narrative. They might silence you. And in the, in the realm of independent journalism and media, where some random schmo like me can actually have influence, especially, you know, that I am credentialed in a way that people might pay attention to, Right. then why would they not want to you know, quiet me. Well, they're doing a really bad job. You're on a podcast with millions of people watching. Um, where's your proof? Where's your point? How exactly can you make the argument that you're being silenced or being threatened in some way when you're literally talking to one of the biggest podcasts on the fucking planet right now? How does that make any sense? How? But well, they put labels on cigarettes and no one gives a shit. Yeah. You know, I don't know if what you're saying is worth killing somebody over. Who you know, knows? I mean, I'm still here, so apparently right. not, right? Yeah, apparently not. Why bring it up then? I'm not just trying to scare people out of taking meds. I'm not just trying to scare people out of taking meds. You're I'm trying to help uh, them. also showing that you can totally shed your chronic illnesses completely, forever. Well, I can't show forever, but that you can have long-term shedding of your chronic illnesses. That, to me, is a more threatening element of what I have to say than just like, these pills are dangerous, you shouldn't take them. I'm not saying that. Again. Here's the fucking problem. Kelly Brogan is not a medical doctor. She is a psychiatrist. Yes, technically, MD, psychiatry, medical doctor, I understand. But she is not a general practitioner. She's not an oncologist. She's not somebody who is trained specifically to see a patient and understand the physiological ailments that they're having to deal with, to treat. Trying to say that her wingnut method that was already disproven with its own data that's old as fuck based on a long dead dipshit's research is somehow an actual threat that you're going to you're going to heal and cure people with this no that's ridiculous i wouldn't have a fucking problem if she just simply tried to sell it as i can show you how to how to live a healthier life how to be more equipped to battle these chronic things that you're you're having to deal with that's fine. That's good language. That's just being like, hey, try eating this way. Try changing your life to, to this direction. Maybe this is what's going to really make that change. And there you go. And otherwise leave the very specific physiological problems that people are having to deal with to the experts that are being, that have been training to deal with this for a shitload amount of their lives. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you make these huge claims where you are saying, you are saying that you can ditch your medicine. I'm not just trying to scare people out of taking meds. I, Kelly Brogan, am saying ditch your fucking medicine. That is wrong. It's wrong, it's irresponsible, and it's fucking evil. It is some just ghastly, abhorrent shit. Absolutely abhorrent shit. And it freaks me out so much that this got so much goddamn exposure being on the Joe Rogan podcast. Again, this is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm deconstructing this shit is because honestly, when people go and look up on YouTube, Kelly Brogan, after they see this podcast, I want them to find these videos so that they don't just simply 
listen and believe all the crazy, stupid shit that she has to say. Make up your own mind. Go seek out real fucking professionals. Figure out what the fuck is going on with you and get the right kind of treatment. And if you, at the end of the day, find some value in the things that she teaches you, according to eating healthier or getting more exercise, then good, great, fantastic. But still, she's not an oncologist. She can't fix your fucking cancer. I'm sorry. It's just not going to work. God. Fucking damn, I hate this shit. Ugh. Honestly, I, I, this, this one made me really angry, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and just put this video together, and we'll get the next one out here again soon. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Let me know what you thought in the, the comments section below. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, all that good shit. Um, and I will see you guys next time, okay? Take care. Bye.